Well, hello, my big kids and my little chicken nuggets. Welcome back to another edition of Mr. B's Art Room. I'm excited to join you today because today we're going to be making Native American pictographs. Now, you might not know what that means. Picto. Does that sound like anything? Pick. Yeah, picture. A Native American Indian pictograph is a story told through pictures. Now, for this project, you're going to need a sheet that looks like this. Now, you can print this out by following the link at the bottom of the YouTube video, or you can go to the end of this video and pause it. I'll have this displayed at the end of the video for you. So you can see these are pictures that we use to tell stories, or the Native Americans used to tell stories. And they're very simple. They're not too difficult to draw. You can see by, as I zoom in, looking at those, these pictures, a sun is just a circle with lines on it, a lot like the suns that we might draw. And a man is like a stick person. It looks like his body is an X with a circle on top. And the woman right next to him, you just put a line under the leg so it looks like she has a dress on. So they're very simple to draw, but we can use them to tell a story. I'm going to make a story for you guys today, and you're going to need a few materials if you want to do it along with me. One thing, as I mentioned, you need the pictograph sheet, or pause the video and you can see it. You're also going to need something to draw on. You can use paper. I'm going to be using a brown paper bag because the Native American Indians didn't have paper. They used either wood or animal skins, deer hide. So we're going to use this brown paper and pretend it's either wood or an animal skin. And then you're going to need markers and maybe some crayons too. So get those materials and let's get started. You ready Steve? Me too. Okay, I'm going to begin telling you a story through pictures made by the Native American Indians. And you can see I've got my sheet over here and watch as I draw them. So just like when we read a book, we read from left to right, I'm gonna do the same as I draw my pictures. I'm gonna tell the story from left to right. So I'll start with this. And you guys see if you can figure out what these words mean. Okay. Anybody got that? Yeah, you can see it's down here now. I don't know if you guys can read this. It's very small, but it says summer. So that means summer. Here goes my next word. I start with a curve and a little line poking towards the left. Do you see that symbol over here? Up here, it says morning. So summer, morning. little circle I bet you can guess that without even looking at this sheet yeah that's here it's man so summer morning man what does that look like yeah it's an arrow do you see any arrows over here there's some arrows. Is that the same? No, that's just one arrow. That's two. There's two arrows. Those aren't arrows. Those are bird tracks. There it is. So the one arrow means hunt. Ooh. So summer, morning, man, hunt. Hmm. Let's keep going with this story. Two circles and two circles. You see that? Oh, here it is. It says deer. So summer, morning, man, hunt, deer. Are you figuring out the story? What does that look like? Kind of looks like a tent. Yeah, there it is. That's a teepee. That's the Indian's home, his house, the teepee. Another picture. What's that look like? Again, you can probably figure out most of these without even looking at this sheet. There it is, it's mountains. Hmm. 
What about that? Mm-hmm. Where is that? There it is. It says river. Okay. So summer, morning, man, hunt, deer, house or teepee, mountains, river. Hmm. Are you piecing together any kind of story? Well, let's keep going. Oh, that looks kind of like morning, doesn't it? Some wiggles coming down. Can you see that over here? Sure, there it is. It means it means rain. And these zigzags coming down. I bet you know what that means again without looking. Yep, here it is. It's lightning. Looks like a donut, doesn't it? You think it means donut? No, here it is. It means sad. What's that? Of course, that's the sun, and that's exactly what that means. There's that donut again. However, it's got two lines on the top, the bottom, and the sides. What does that mean? If that means sad, what do you think that means? The opposite of sad is happy, and that's exactly what it means. Oh, okay, I think I'm getting a story. Rain and thunder, sad, sun, happy. Okay, let's keep going. My story is almost finished. A circle with some dots in it. That kind of looks like something to me, doesn't it? Looks like a paw print. Oh, it's here. It's a bear. So that means bear. It's a zigzag with an arrow at the end. What is that? Oh, here it is. It means fast. It looks a lot like that teepee, doesn't it? There's three of them. Oh, it means camp. Okay, the camp or the village where the, the, the town of teepees, where they all live. And that's the end of my story. Can you figure out what it means? Yeah, we can say each of these words, but sometimes you have to have extra words to tell the story. So we usually start a story with once upon a time, right? Maybe this one would say one summer morning, a man went hunting for some deer. He left his teepee, his house, and headed towards the mountain. He crossed the mountain and went to the river. It started to rain and lightning. It made him feel, what's that donut mean? Sad, right. Then the sun came out and he was happy. The man saw a bear. He went fast back to the village or the teepees. And that's the end of my story. So the man went hunting, had bad weather, got scared when he saw a bear and he went fast back home. You can see how easy it is to draw and tell stories with pictures. The Native Americans had their own symbols that they came up with. You can make up your very own as well. Now as you're drawing and telling a story, if you find a word that you want to tell but it's not on this sheet, let's say you want to say the word turtle. Is turtle on that sheet? No. How could you make the word turtle? Of course, draw a simple turtle, maybe a circle with a head on top and four little legs and a pointy tail, that would get the person who's looking at your picture to know that you mean turtle. 
So continue to make your story. I'm going to add a little bit of color to mine to make it look interesting. That's great. Now I'm going to do a few more things to make it look a little more authentic. Now that we're finished, I want to cut this out and Native Americans used animal hides, animal skin. They didn't have paper. So they used animal skin to tell their stories. So we want this brown paper, this bag, to look like animal skin. Now I'm going to just cut it out in a blobby shape because animal skin probably wouldn't look like a square, would it? Probably not. So I'm going to cut this out into a blobby shape to represent the animal hide. There we go. And then an animal hide probably wouldn't look flat and smooth like this. It would probably be a, a little bumpy or textured so I'm going to go ahead watch this wrinkle it up and I'm being careful not to rip it but I just want to wrinkle it up open that up maybe flatten it out I'll do it again get some more wrinkles in there squish it a little bit open it up Flatten that out, and there you go. It looks like a rough, worn out animal skin that's got a story on it that we can read, and you can share that with your friends. Well, those are a lot of fun to make. Pretty easy too, especially since the drawings are so simple. Well, don't forget, share those with people. That's the fun part, is seeing if you can make a story that somebody else can read, or read it to them and show them as you tell the story, pointing to each picture. Hey Steve, share it with me. Take a picture and send it to me. I'd love to see it. bbojanowski at rhmail.org. Now, boys and girls, stick around after and you can pause the screen. I'll have all the pictographs up on the screen for you. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you tomorrow.